Let's first start this video off by just thanking anyone who watched, liked, or even subscribed to my last video. Uh, this is a new journey for me, so I really appreciate you guys following along with me. Today, we're just going to have a little bit of a slightly uh, easier topic. It's just talking about families, more specifically, black families. Um, you know, just a lot of stereotypes going along in the media and in society, and we're just going to break that apart today. So follow along with me and uh, let's talk. So let's first talk about black moms, more specifically, single black moms. It's a big thing in our society where we, it's almost like people assume that every black mom is a single black mom as if, you know, there are no fathers in any households or anything. And that's, that's pretty much BS. Like there are plenty of families, plenty of black families who have a mom, dad in the house, and that can go back generations. There are people who know their grandfathers and great grandfathers, grandmothers and great grandmothers, and have great relationships with them. So I don't want people, the first thing I want to break down is that stereotype because as much as it does happen, and unfortunately I was a um, victim of that circumstance, it's not like, it's not going to be the average. Now it feels like when a lot of people think of like black lives or like, you know, just being black in general, they see struggle or they think of struggle and unfortunately, as true as that can be, like as much as like black people can struggle uh, just in society and within ourselves and have a lot to deal with internally and externally, it's not always just sad times and tears and police brutality and marches and things like that. There are a lot of just happy times of just being in a black family. Now, let me also take a minute to defend black dads for a second. Um, I feel like they get a lot of flack, uh, a lot of extra flack that may not necessarily be uh, warranted. You know, there's a very big stereotype that black men aren't great dads or just aren't great providers or can't be like stay in the household, which is just untrue and unfair. You know, as many people of every race and every creed that have issues with their father. I don't think it's ever fair to kind of just like put that stereotype and like mainly just throw it all on one race or one group of individuals. Uh, and based off of things that like historically we can, you know, there's a lot of reasons why historically black fathers weren't in the house. Uh, a little bit too much for this video. We're going to keep it light, but just know that if we're going, uh, if we're going to go through that, it's going to be a lot to unpack. I think it would be good to have more portrayals of more, I would say, mundane family, uh, black family relationships in TV shows and media. Uh, things that have less to do with like drugs or parents not being in the household or, you know, any type of like stereotypical situations that people kind of already put on black people but just more like things like we need like full house but for black issues and for black people now as a product of the 90s there were a lot of great tv shows back then that portrayed black families you know we had the family matters we had your fresh prince bel-air even things like keenan and kale showed just good examples of you know what black families are and we, I just feel like we need more of them. I'm sure there are. Maybe there's just some I'm not even thinking of at the moment that are currently out. And if you are familiar with any black TV shows currently that do show, you know, non-stereotypical situations, please just comment them down below. I'll gladly check them out. And while you're commenting, go ahead and subscribe and like the video. Um, I have future topics coming up soon. Uh, we're going to go over being an adult, uh, culture, American culture, um, anime, and pol political issues versus social issues. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to get to that one day. Uh, a lot of people feel, I feel like a lot of people just don't know the big difference between them. And uh, we're going to go over it one day. Not, not today, though. Uh, but I do appreciate you guys for joining me on the journey today. Um, we had a nice little talk here. And uh, we will have more in the future. So I will see you soon. And goodbye. No one really has answers for anything. And we're all just figuring it out on our own. Good luck. There's no harm in saying what you need.